Hi guys, today we're gonna make an amazing gluten-free vegan quesadilla with vegetables and vegan cheese. It's very simple to make, let's go to the ingredients. All right, so we have your mushroom. We have here one green zucchini that I cut. Now I just cut it thin so it can fry good in my pan and I have yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper. That's all you guys need to make the vegetables. I have two gluten-free tortillas, one tablespoon of za'ata. Now za'ata is the secret ingredient for this recipe. You can go to my website and see how I spell it, where you can get it. It's very healthy for you and for your kids. I have a half a teaspoon of black pepper. This is one tablespoon of onion. I have a half a lemon, Himalayan salt, co spray coconut oil, mustard and my vegan cheese. We're gonna start by heating my frying pan on high. I'm gonna spray my vegetables in coconut oil. I'm adding all the spices I told you about, which is the zata, black pepper, and I have the onion here. Mix it well together. Look at the beautiful colors. I promise you it's going to be healthy and delicious. I'm going to put it in the So it's just maybe a um, teaspoon of teaspoon of Himalayan salt. I'm drizzling a little bit of lemon on top. I'm going to do the whole half inside the vegetables. Again, we're going to mix it well. Now for the best part, we're going to add our mustard. I know it may sound weird or not familiar, but promise you it's the best thing you ever ate. Mix it. Let's add it to the pan. Now we don't need to put oil in our pan. I'm using a non-stick frying pan and I already put oil in my vegetables. Need to put more oil in it. I'm gonna let my vegetables steam in the pan for 10 minutes and then we're gonna add it to my tortilla. Hi guys, look at that, it smells delicious. It looks delicious, look at all that colors and it's all healthy. I'm gonna add just a half of it to a half side of my uh, gluten free quesadilla. I'm gonna put this on the side. I'm gonna add my vegan cheese on top. If you love cheese, you can put as much as you want. There is not enough cheese for me, I know that. And don't forget it's vegan, so it's not so bad for you. We're gonna fold it. I preheat my panini press. I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna toss it all together. Now guys, the reason I put the quesadilla in the uh, panini press Gluten-free people knows that the quesadilla is not the same. You can just fold it easy. It's always going to fall apart. It's always going to break sometimes. That's how it is with gluten-free. So my tip is just put it in the panini press, let it cook like three minutes, and then take it out. Three minutes in my panini press. This quesadilla is delicious. Smells so good. Look how good it looks. I put more vegetables on top, everything that came out, you know, when you press the toast, more vegetables coming out from the um, quesadilla. Use it to make your dish pretty. I'm gonna use zata, the spices I told you before, and I'm just gonna use it to decorate and put it a little bit on top. You guys are ready to go. Look at that, it's delicious. It looks amazing for any party, hosting, for yourself. You want to treat yourself, you want to treat your husband. I'm going to take a bite. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. The cheese is doesn't even taste like vegan cheese. Everything makes so well together. I promise you, it's filling. It doesn't feel like any vegan gluten-free dish. Use it, I hope it worked for you. If it didn't work for you, if you or if you wanna get more recipes of mine, please go to www.barkakitchen.com. I hope I see you next time. Bye.